everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Today I am making a soap with a new fragrance. It is actually a Lush dupe. It is called Rose Jam. And I'll leave the description for that on my Facebook page. I'm going to be using a base of Pig Pink Mica from Be Scented. I also have Red Raspberry Mica from Be Scented. And I'm using a teeny tiny bit of Green Apple so that I can pipe some leaves on the top. So I use both of those color pinks to make some embeds and I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use. It depends on, um, I'm going to put these ones on first because I really like these. These are just made of melt and pour and this is one of the brighter pinks. So I'm going to use the base of light pink and use a little bit of white, a little bit of the brighter pink inside, and then place the embeds and do a little bit of leaves. So this fragrance is really, really nice. It does have 1.8% vanillin in it, which means it could discolor the soap a little bit. So I don't usually use vanilla color stabilizer, but I used a little bit in this one and also I'm going to be using some titanium dioxide that does help when you have a fragrance that discolors. It kind of offsets it a little bit. Um, it still will probably discolor a little bit but so that is my plan. Um, I'm using, I don't know if I've ever told you guys this before but I have Tussis Silk. You can get this from Be Scented also. There's the website. And you only, I got two bags of this, and you need like just a tiny pinch, and you put it in your lye water when it's hot to let it dissolve, and it helps to give your soap a little bit more of a silky feel. So I'm going to be using that also, and I think that's it. I thought I would maybe talk through kind of what I'm doing instead of fast forwarding through this part, maybe a little bit anyways. Um, right now I'm adding my lye solution which has, of course, water and lye, distilled water and lye. And you add, I added down my stick blender to help prevent putting air bubbles into the soap. I also have a little bit of sodium lactate in my lye solution, which helps firm, harden up your soap. I don't usually use that either, um, but I'm, I have some, so I'm going to try it. Okay, now this is my heavy cream, and I do a water discount when I pour my, when I do my lye solution, and a lot of times, most of the time, your recipe will show you how much lye you need. And I do a water discount, meaning I calculate it down so that it sets up a little bit quicker, it hardens a little bit quicker, and also I can add like heavy cream or you can add goat's milk or something like that. Just calculate your, your liquid measurements so that you don't have too much or too little. You have to account for that. So I'm just going to, I don't want a ton of white or pink. That's probably more than I want. But I do want to have a little bit of swirl on the inside. So, and this smells so good, this fragrance. It's really nice. It's kind of strong and lovely. And I'm also, I have a little bit of the green apple mica in here. And I'm just going to add a tiny bit in for the leaves on the top. And I will just hand mix that in. I'll do that right now actually. I may add just a couple drops of the fragrance to help it set up because otherwise um, it may take a little while. I'll just have to see. I am soaping at room temperature which for me is about 72 degrees. 98% um, of the time I soap at room temperature. Okay so I feel like when you're soaping you should test that out you know what temperature you, you know, if you record your temperatures and then you get a really, a good batch and you felt, you know, it could have to do with the fragrance oil, but also the temperature at which you soap at definitely makes a difference in 
how fast your soap sets up and the design you can do. Okay, let me pay attention just for a second. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of titanium dioxide to this one for my white swirls. Then I've got this gorgeous red raspberry and I'm going to add that to this one. And then I have this gorgeous pink and I don't want it too bright. So I'm just gonna start out with a little, you, know, I, you can always add more. But what I'm gonna do right now is take this out and I'm gonna go lightest to darkest so that I do not have to clean my stick blender in between. I will not be adding the fragrance oil to my white or my bright pink simply because I would like those to, those colors to remain true. Okay, I think I want a little bit darker. And I'm also gonna add just a tiny bit of the darker pink. Okay, I just want a really soft, pretty base. So I'm just going to go ahead right now and kind of clean off my stick blender and I will probably clean up my mess a little bit and then I will start pouring. I probably will play the music and for, you know fast forward a little bit through that part because I do feel like I need to concentrate a little bit and I can't really talk and concentrate at the same time. But look at this gorgeous pink. It is like... I love it. I've not used it yet, so, so pretty. All right, so.
probably an hour. And this is still a little liquidy, but I just did a little leaf and it was fine. So I'm just going to kind of randomly place leaves in on the little ones and the big ones. Just to kind of give it a little bit more depth and color. I don't want to do too many, though. It's easy for me to get carried away when I'm piping and then I realize, you know, I've kind of gone a little overboard. But I guess you don't really notice when you cut them into bars, but... the next day it has been about 24 hours and I am gonna go ahead and cut rose bear rose jam type and I love how it came out and this red raspberry mica stayed exactly the same color and I love it and that's the inside it does look right in here have a little bit of a little bit of cracking which are called glycerin rivers and sometimes it happens if you add too much water um, if you have titanium dioxide mixed with water and you add a little more than you should you get these glycerin rivers but they are harmless i say they give the soap charm it doesn't um, harm the use or, or anything like that it's just aesthetically it still smells amazing it still smells strong and really nice and I did cut the first loaf and really liked how the swirl came out. Was it this one? I just thought that was a really pretty swirl. And how this is in the center. It almost looks like the flower, a stem. And if this was green, it would look like leaves. So, okay, moving on to this one. I'm trying to I'm trying to video this while um, I am home alone, which never really happens. I have um, so many kids in and out here, and I love it. I would rather have the girls have their friends here than them out somewhere, so I'm fine with it. But it doesn't leave me a whole lot of time to... That one's kind of cool, different. It doesn't leave me a ton of time to film. And right now I have Oliver, the puppy, and I bribed him with a milk bone so he would get in his bed and kind of chill while I did this. Because if you leave him, I love that. If you leave him, like if he's hanging out with you and you leave, he has major separation anxiety and he whines and cries until someone else distracts him and then he kind of latches onto them. Um, I'm loving the swirl and you can you can barely see any glycerin rivers in that, but look at the heart. Oh, I love it. And I love how you can see on the side when you do like a slab mold and you cut it like this, you can see designs on the side as well. It's so pretty. Now this may discolor a little bit, I'm not sure, because I did use a little bit of Vanilla Color Stabilizer, um, which I don't normally use, but I thought I would see, you know, test it out and see if it really works or not. 
and I am just adoring this swirl. How am I going to choose which ones to use for a picture? Because I really like them. I really like them all. Um, so it definitely, the so I use some sodium lactate as well in my lye water so that I would could see if it hardened up the soap any um, more than not using it. And this is definitely, like I'm squeezing it and it isn't, you know, wanting to indent or anything. So I would say the sodium lactate really does, you know, work great to harden your soap. I've never really wanted to add any extra anything to it, um, but I also like to test things out here and there, so. I love it. Look how that red raspberry stayed so true to the color, even on the inside. So if this discolors at all, it will be this light pink that would discolor because I did not put the fragrance in the white or the bright pink. Um, if it does discolor, it will discolor to like a light tan color, I'm thinking, which will still be pretty. I hope it stays like this, but if not, it still smells amazing and will still cleanse your body wonderfully. I know I haven't been putting out a ton of videos lately. Um, I actually haven't been making a ton of soap lately. I love that one too because I've been working with my husband. Um, it is the busy time here at the beach, that's for sure. And there's that side. And this side has kind of some, a lot more coloring and like a heart right there. Let me know if you guys like bars that have a, like a burst, like a whole bunch of, you know, swirls or if you prefer just a tiny little swirl like that, I would be interested to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.